Gladys Knight is a legendary American singer, songwriter, actress, and businesswoman. She is also known as the Empress of Soul for her powerful voice and soulful music. She started singing at a young age, winning a talent show when she was only eight years old. She formed a family group with her brother and cousins called the Pips, which later became Gladys Knight and the Pips. The group achieved fame and success with Motown records in the 1960s and 1970s, producing hits such as I Heard It Through the Grapevine, Midnight Train to Georgia, and Neither One of Us. They won awards and were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Knight also pursued a solo career, releasing more than 38 albums over the years. She won seven Grammy Awards, four as a solo artist and three with the Pips. She also recorded the theme song for the James Bond film License to Kill in 1989. Rolling Stone magazine ranked her among the 100 greatest singers of all time. Awards and Honors Gladys Knight has won seven Grammy Awards in her career, four as a solo artist and three with the Pips. She is also an inductee into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Vocal Group Hall of Fame along with the Pips. In addition, she has been nominated for several awards throughout her career. In 2022, Knight was among a group of five honorees who received the 45th Kennedy Center Honors for Lifetime Artistic Achievements. She has also been nominated for 21 categories in the 2023 Billboard Latin Music Awards, including the coveted Artist of the Year and Artist of the Year, New Awards, among others. Her feature with Esleban Armada on Ella Baila Sola has earned six mentions in categories that include Global 200 Latin Song of the Year, Sales Song of the Year, and Regional Mexican Song of the Year, among others. Her third studio album, Genesis, has been nominated for Top Latin Album of the Year and Regional Mexican Album of the Year. The album debuted at number three on the Billboard 200 chart, making it the highest-ranking regional Mexican album on the chart. About Gladys Knight's net worth? According to the list, Gladys Knight has a net worth of $28 million. She has earned her wealth through music and acting. Knight has appeared on The Jamie Foxx Show and House of Pain and as herself on Empire. About Gladys Knight's early life? Gladys Knight was born on May 28, 1944, in Atlanta, Georgia, U.S. She is the daughter of Merrill Woodlow Knight Sr., a postal worker, and Sarah Elizabeth, née Woods. She has a sister named Brenda, one living brother named Merrill Bubba Knight Jr., and one deceased brother named David Billy Knight. Knight began singing in the church choir during the late 1940s and early 1950s. At the age of eight, she won Ted Max the original Amateur Hour TV show contest on July 1, 1952. That same year, she and her brother Bubba, sister Brenda, and their cousins Eleanor and William Guest began performing together during Bubba's 10th birthday party after a record player malfunctioned. Soon, the quintet agreed to form a group at the urging of Gladys' mother Elizabeth Knight. The group settled on the name The Pips, inspired by the nickname of their cousin James, Pip Woods. Personal life? Gladys Knight has been married four times and has three children. At the age of 16, she became pregnant and married James Newman, a musician and classmate from Atlanta, in 1960. The couple had two children, but unfortunately, Knight had a miscarriage. Newman developed a drug addiction and left the family when Knight was 20 years old. Despite this, they remained married for over 12 years until 1973. Their son, James Gaston Newman III was born on August 13, 1962. Knight retired from touring to raise their child while the Pips continued to tour on their own. In 1974, Gladys Knight married Barry Hankerson in Detroit. Hankerson is the founder of Background Records, the label that signed his niece, the R&B singer Aaliyah, to a record deal. The couple had one son, Shana Ali Hankerson, who was born on August 1, 1976. Their marriage ended in 1979 after a prolonged custody battle over their son. Knight's third marriage was to Les Brown in 1995. They divorced in 1997. In April, 2001, Knight married William McDowell. They have been together ever since and reside in North Carolina. About Gladys Knight's professional career? She is best known for her powerful voice and soulful music. 
Knight began her musical career at a young age, winning a talent show when she was only eight years old. She formed a group with her brother and cousins called The Pips, which later became Gladys Knight and The Pips. The group achieved fame and success with Motown records in the 1960s and 1970s. Knight also pursued a solo career, releasing more than 38 albums over the years. She won seven Grammy Awards, four as a solo artist and three with The Pips. She also recorded the theme song for the James Bond film License to Kill in 1989 Rolling Stone magazine ranked her among the 100 greatest singers of all time. Knight's career was not without challenges and hardships. She faced racism, abuse, addiction, divorce, and loss throughout her life. She overcame these difficulties with her faith, resilience, and passion for music. She is also a philanthropist and an activist for various causes, such as HIV-AIDS awareness, diabetes prevention, and children's welfare. Knight is still active in the music industry, performing live shows and collaborating with other artists. Where did Gladys Knight's association with the Pips all begin? Gladys Knight's association with the Pips was a long and fruitful one, spanning over four decades and producing many hit songs and awards. As earlier stated, the Pips were originally a family group consisting of Knight's brother and cousins, who started singing together in 1952. They changed their name to Gladys Knight and the Pips in 1961, after signing with Fury Records. The group achieved their first major success with the song I Heard It Through the Grapevine in 1967, which was later covered by Marvin Gaye. They also had other popular songs such as Neither One of Us, Wants to Be the First to Say Goodbye, Midnight Train to Georgia, and Best Thing That Ever Happened to Me. They won three Grammy Awards and were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996. Knight and the Pips had a close bond and a harmonious sound, but they also faced some challenges and conflicts over the years. They left Motown Records in 1973 due to creative differences and contractual disputes. They also had some personal issues, such as Knight's struggle with gambling addiction and divorce. In 1989, the group decided to disband, as Knight wanted to pursue a solo career and the Pips wanted to retire. Knight and the Pips remained friends and occasionally reunited for special events, such as the 25th anniversary of Motown in 1983 and the 1992 Super Bowl. They also supported each other's endeavors and achievements. Knight said that the Pips were the best thing that ever happened to her and that she would always love them. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell notification.